Hey guys, it's Lena and I'm coming at you with another layout process video. Um, this whole thing started with, this whole layout started with a prompt from the Victoria Marie Facebook group and I'm showing you here the um, kind of uh, layout or sketch that inspired my, uh, my layout. So I just, uh, for those of you who follow me on Pinterest, uh, you'll find it on my layouts. I heart board and I just liked the overall layouts consisting of um, two sections of paper. So the uh, wood grain and well in this case wood grain and the pattern paper at the top. So I uh, the papers I'm using the stripe is from my mind's eye market street Ashbury Heights and the wood grain, it's kind of like a birch bark print. And that's from Basic Gray, the Aspen Frost uh, collection. So I just cut a piece of the birch, let's just call it wood grain paper, and um, layered it on top of the, uh, the stripe. And in this case, I posi positioned it horizontally because I just liked the way it looked better. And I'm using some of the uh, remnants of paper from the Teresa Collins Save the Date collection. I'm still working through that collection. I'm not going to put it away. I refuse because there's no sense in putting it back into the vault. Like, I'm just going to use it. Like, I've had it for way too long and I'm in love with it. And I have a lot of collections I need to work through. And I, by golly, I am determined. Did I just say by golly? Yes, I did. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is uh, go through a bunch of die cuts and I cut a lot of this out because I seriously took my time and the die cuts uh, one pack there that you see on the left that I'm going through is from Crate Paper Open Book. So that's the uh, Maggie Holmes collection there and on the left you'll see the Kaiser Craft uh, collectibles uh, die cuts and I think that one is called Bow and Arrow. So really, like I said, I went, I went through this, um, these die cuts and I went through everything cause I just, I had a, I had a tough time guys going through these, um, uh, die cuts and figuring out what I wanted and where to place them. And just cause it was a lot of die cuts and I knew I needed a lot of die cuts and I was okay with using a lot of die cuts. But the positioning threw me off so bad. So it was just like ugh, die cut overkill. And I went through and I picked like through the two packs that I used, two collections that I picked from, I went through and picked what I thought would work best. And so here you'll see that I'm just going through and I am positioning things the way I want them and kind of fiddling around and picking things up and trying to see how they look on the page and then a lot of things I don't like and I don't use but then a lot of things I do use it's just this layout took me I think under an hour I think it was 49 minutes in total a lot of it I have to say guys was just picking die cuts it was ridiculous the amount of time I spent like I must have not been okay I usually don't look at the clock when I scrap but Usually I have an internal clock because at an external clock, her name is Alessandra, <laughs> who, you know, if I'm taking too long to do something or she needs something, you know, she's obviously my alarm clock. But I just, I took so long and I couldn't believe when I was editing this video how long I actually took. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just placing some things where I think I like them, playing with the die cuts and positioning them and you know, doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I love this picture. It was taken in the summertime of my little one, my only one. <laughs> and we had just come back from the park and um, I had snapped this picture along the way and she was just sitting so cute in her stroller. Just she had her like her foot in her hand and like the sun was shining and the, the picture was just so clear and I just, I loved it. And it's not really a picture of anything in particular but her and you know we had just come back from the park and it was I just love it so I decided to scrap it <laughs> 
So as you can tell, I am still going through these die cuts and trying to find where I like everything. A lot of the things I'm just positioning down and committing, those arrows there that I keep fiddling with, I had a hard time committing. I had a hard time in general with this layout. I don't know if it's because I use the sketch because I usually don't use the sketch. I just kind of kind of wing it. And those are the layouts that I think come more easy to me. But this one here really threw me for a loop. Yeah, so it wasn't really... Um, it was fun, but it wasn't that fun because I knew I had to get it done. So here I'm going through some of my thickers. And... Again, I struggle with picking a color. Like, I'm like, do I use blue or an aqua? You know, do I go for a pink? You know, what am I gonna, what am I gonna go with? And I end up picking, uh, for my main title, I pick a black um, thicker in, uh, I think they're a foam. Pretty sure it's a foam. Um, and, um, they're in the font doll, if I'm not mistaken. We'll just see here. It's coming. There, I got them. Yeah, they're in doll. So that's what I used for my main title, which was Pretty Girl, which is Pretty Girl. And then I know that Thicker's are adhesive on their own but I don't trust them I'm sorry I've had I've gone through like my older books where I'm flipping through the pages and there's alphas falling off so I'm a little hesitant now to put anything down without adhering it first even if it does have a really good tack um, on the on the letters um, just because it's kind of heartbreaking to see you know you go through a book uh, or one of your past albums that's not that old and the you know embellishments or the letter stickers are falling off it's not nice <laughs> so I went through and I glued everything down with some um, Tombow Mono which is my liquid glue of choice at the moment and so I figured the top right of this um, layout needed something and I'm just adding like another little cluster of papers and there's two like little slivers of paper and I think that little pink one is or corally one is just a sticker. I don't know what that is. And then I decide that the top is looking kind of bare. So I take my watercolor, which I struggled with and you'll see because I show you if I didn't cut it out. Um, yeah, there I go. I can't get a big blob of paint. So like, and I was putting all kinds of water and I made a big, huge mess in my tray and nothing was coming out. And I'm like, you know what? This is not happening. And I splattered the way I usually do, which you'll see. Uh, Cause I couldn't, I couldn't get it to fall. So I was like, there we go. So, and I was avoiding splattering like that because when I do that, I get paint everywhere and I hate cleaning up. <laughs> my OCD kicks in and I, you know, I clean up. So, that's what I did. So a bit of splatter there at the, the on the top left-ish, which kind of carries through into the center. And then I decided it needs a little bit more, so I just add a bit more of splatter. So that was it for the black watercolor. And then for my secondary title, it's not even just a title, it's just kind of more of a marker. I end up spelling um, with authentic, authentic, be authentic petite type square in like a coral and I could, I'm going through my smaller um, alphas here and I end up spelling out eight months I believe and I think for the most part that is the entire layout um, and you'll see the still pictures at the end of the video and um, I think that's pretty much it I thank you guys for watching, I thank you guys for tuning in, and thank you for your patience. I know my videos are few and far between, but I'm going to be working on that. Um, and I just appreciate all of you. And thank you to, thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. Hey guys! Okay, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.